Hey guys, it's me, Panma. So, today I want to talk about Passion Dreamer. It is a game I adore and I almost did an in-depth review for it. But halfway through writing it, I realized that it mostly nitpicks. And I didn't want people to think the game is bad because it's not. A lot of people love this game. I love this game. And I don't want people to think that it's a bad game because of all the nitpicks I have in the game. But I did want to highlight something important to me that I feel like is a big problem with Passion Dreamer's game life cycle. And it's the fact that Passion Dreamer right now kind of operates in kind of a live service mobile game-esque system. And the reason I say this is because Passion Dreamer is still super reliant on monthly updates, limited time updates, limited time rewards that you can get. And that is a problem for me and also a lot of other players because fear of missing out mechanics. I'm not a fan of it. I want to play my game, get hop on it and then leave when I want to, just play when I want to. But when you put out all this fear of missing out mechanics, you're kind of forcing me to play it and it becomes not enjoyable. Uh, I just feel like this model is also not sustainable for the devs themselves. So back in December, they promised all these updates. And one of the updates is a runway update. It's been seven months of the game now, but I still don't see the runway update anywhere. And I feel like they've forgotten about it or they're having a hard time developing it while updating the game monthly or the events because they do have to keep the players happy. They have to keep the community alive because without it, that game will feel like an empty task of itself because they built this game for the online community. And I get it. It, it does work. It does work for what it is, especially the first month of the game. There was a lot of players. You could see the creativity that goes with the item creations, the outfit creations. I love it. I love going through showrooms and looking at all the things other people can create. But like I said, how long can they keep this up? I feel like there is a crunch going on with the development cycle and that's the reason why they can't release the runway update or any other major updates right now. And we get a drip feed of content instead of a stream of Know, continuous content or even just release the game complete yeah i feel like i just feel like it's it's not it's not sustainable for this game and i'm scared of one day opening this game and it being you no know, dead and i don't want it for a one-time payment game console game but it's sad because it's kind of the reality of it for now. I'm hoping that won't be the case. It's still seven months in. So maybe it will improve. Maybe they will continually update the game. But another issue I do have is with the gacha dress up games. I know there's a constant flow of cash coming in to the devs. So they do have a reason to continually update the game. But for Fashion Dreamer, there's only so much that's gonna come in since it's a one-time payment game. So it's gonna stop. The flow of people buying this game is gonna stop at some point. And I don't know if it did already stop, but you're operating in the live service model. But... The flow of cash isn't coming in. 
if that makes sense. So what are they going to pay all these devs and these artists? And that might be the reason we're getting a drip feed of content. So yeah, this is my biggest problem with the game right now. There's also this other one, the grind mechanics, the focus on the grind in this game. And I get that it's to prolong the life of the game so that you won't easily get into the highest number you can possibly attain. I feel like this isn't really a good model to go by because this is a creative game. This is a fashion game. So why are we chasing the high of getting as much numbers as we can? Plus, we are playing, I, I am playing a game to escape reality. And as a content creator, aspiring content creator and online social media artist myself, I hate the numbers game so much that, you know, I tend to try to ignore it because it does kill your creative side, your creative juices. Because all now you all you think about is how much you're gonna do to get some kinds of rewards. And then that's the gameplay loop. Okay, so pause. I forgot to mention that when I say followers, I don't mean literal real people followers. But when you say followers in Fashion Dreamer, they're equivalent to XP or levels in other games so the more followers you have in fashion dreamer the higher your level is basically so yeah i just want to clear that out uh, you do get the items you do get the clothing for free i forgot to mention that by liking them so you don't need to buy anything so yeah only thing left for you really to do is to get as much followers as possible I know people are gonna say, you don't have to impose yourself to the million followers mark. And yeah, I get it. But as gamers, you know, you're, we're all kind of uh, wired to think, what is the end goal on this game? What is the end goal I have to attain? And right now, the only thing I can think of is really that, you know? I can't blame people who are pressured to go with that standard. Other problems I have with the games, honestly, are just nitpicks. And I think other people have already talked about it. You know, one of them is like, you know, the type B or should we say male clothing options are super limited. The body type options are limited. But like I said, I do still love the game, but I honestly can't continue playing because at this point i i think i've run out of things to do within the game but i do want to highlight why do i love this game in particular anyway i think i've mentioned a creative outlet i like dressing up my character i like dressing up other people and trying on new outfits I am not very fashionable myself in real life, but I am using this game as an exercise to maybe try to, you know, be creative with dressing up. And what I really appreciate with Fashion Dreamer is the clothing items may look plain at first, but they're made in a way so that you can really mix and match all of them easily and that really gives a lot of room for creativity to the players and i do see it whenever i receive looks in the mail you know the look it's as they call it whenever people dress up your character i see a lot of creative stuff that people made for me and also in the showroom whenever you whenever i explore showrooms people can get really you know, creative with what how they curate their brand their rooms and i love that i i love seeing that in the game 
and I want these games to prosper the uh, gal games as they call it I want them to prosper because honestly lately there's been not a lot of them at least in the global sphere because in the Japanese market there are a lot a lot of women a lot of girls like me want these games you know but whenever these games are released they do face ridicule among the common gamer demographic and i honestly hate that because these games they're made for for people like me and i hate that they're facing ridicule like whenever there's a girly game people scoff some people scoff at it like <laughs> it's not a real game something like that and then i see people would comment like ah oh, it's time for the real bros game like fuck world of warcraft it's time to play life makeover something like that and i'm like you're not doing anyone a favor because i know you're not playing this game you're just saying that to insult this game like oh i'm i'm not gonna play my usual game it's time to play this game this is the game you play with the boys at night but they don't play it they're just saying that to infantilize feminine games i hate that i want gal games to prosper once again like they did i want new style savvies you know i haven't played style savvy myself but you know maybe in the future i will and i wish that they at least make new ones like that or the switch or pc i at least wish they also released fashion dreamer for steam and maybe maybe we'll get more players and keep the game alive stuff like that but yeah i feel really strongly about this because there really is there really is you know i, I feel it as a woman i feel the ridicule when it comes to anything feminine you know when i do have a lot of guy friends because of my interest i like games i like you know i like video games i like anime well they're they're not specifically masculine but i do face ridicule whenever i as a woman show interest in such girly things and that's kind of sad so i am saying this out of love for the game not because i wanted to fail but maybe because i want more games or i wanted to improve something like that so yeah so yeah that's it for today i hope at least i was coherent enough and you could understand my points i do have a hard time expressing myself and this is my way of practicing i guess so yeah, if you have anything to add, you can do so in the comments and I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Wow, YouTuber. <laughs> I am a YouTuber now. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.